My name is Dr. Mark Holbreich, and I'm a fellow of the American Academy of Allergy, Asthma, and Immunology. I'm going to speak with you today about the hygiene hypothesis and my research with Amish families. The hygiene hypothesis is a theory that tries to explain the link between exposure to certain microbial factors and the prevention of allergies. Microbes cannot be seen, and they are either bacteria or viruses. We know that in developed countries where there is increased sanitation, better water supplies, and children with less infections, that allergies have increased significantly. Trying to understand the hygiene hypothesis is very complex. And one of the ways we can try to understand why people are having more allergies is possibly to find a population that has less allergies that live in America. I think I found such a population in the Amish who live in Indiana. The Amish are a group of individuals who emigrated to America many years ago for religious freedom. However, they still practice farming the way their ancestors did hundreds of years ago. They do not have electricity. They use horses and buggies to get from place to place. They use horses to pull plows on their farms. They also drink raw, unpasteurized milk. Our first research was to try to figure out whether or not these Amish children had fewer allergies than children living in a suburban environment. We skin tested over 100 Amish children and compared the results to skin tests in suburban children. In suburban children, almost 50% will have a positive skin test. In the Amish children, only 7% had a positive skin test. We believe that it is their early life exposures in these Amish children that protect them from the development of allergies. The mothers are pregnant and work in the barn on a daily basis. The children from a very early age spend time in the barn and are around large animals. They also drink raw milk. We think that all of these factors come together to decrease allergies and asthma in the Amish. It's an example of the hygiene hypothesis in a community. Our research is now expanding to carefully look at all aspects of Amish farm life and how it leads to protection against the development of allergies. We hope that through this research we will be able one day to offer to families who are at risk for having children with allergies and asthma a way to possibly prevent them.